is your first Alert 5 weather with Mike Daniels. Great to have you with us here on News 5 at 6. We are live in Colorado Springs. We've got a few clouds out there. Breezy as well. Southeast wind out at the airport, 20 miles per hour. In Pueblo, still plenty of sunshine, 82 degrees. Relative humidity right now at 27%. Some changes around here by Friday. Here's your big weather story. That cold front's going to slip through late tomorrow night by sunrise Friday morning down to the south of us. We'll have a moist upslope flow at the surface on Friday, so it is going to be a humid day by eastern Colorado standards anyway, and some of us will get rain. Unfortunately, not all of us. I think those uh, areas around the Pikes Peak region back west of the Continental Divide will be favored for the rain and the thunderstorm activity. Those thunderstorms will be conceived over the mountains, and then one or two could make it across parts of El Paso County Friday afternoon into Friday evening. Here's an early peek at that weekend. Saturday, your coolest day of the weekend. Unfortunately, it is going to be windy both Saturday and Sunday. Pueblo is still feeling like July on Sunday. 89 your afternoon high temperature becoming windy on Saturday and gusty wind out of the west for you on Sunday. Here's your hour by hour forecast. Tomorrow morning we start with those low clouds, patchy fog, drizzle. Even by 10 a.m. we are still socked in due to that intense upslope flow, but the wind is going to switch by afternoon. That'll scour out those low clouds. We'll end up with lots of sunshine during the afternoon, becoming a little windy again during the afternoon hour. So enjoy these calm winds along I-25 early tomorrow morning. By late morning into the afternoon, here we go with the wind again in the springs by 4 p.m. Gusts out of the south in the mid-20s. Pueblo gusts out of the east at 19. But here's what's interesting. That wind flow coming off the mountains. Woodland Park, you'll have westerly gusts. Also, Walsenburg, Trinidad, back to La Vida. That wind coming off the Sangres. That's why it's going to be another unseasonably warm day. Finally, those winds start to taper down here after sunset tomorrow evening. Today, 89 in Pueblo, 82 in Colorado Springs. Those temperatures 11 degrees hotter than where we should be this time of the year. Just following that trend we've been having all month long. Outside right now, we've got temperatures in the 60s across some of the higher elevations, but predominantly 70s and 80s across the News 5 viewing area. It's going to be a very comfortable night tonight. Overnight lows drop back into the 40s and 50s. Those temperatures still a little warmer than where we should be here in late September. Afternoon highs tomorrow. Don't be discouraged by that chilly, cloudy start. It is really going to heat up during the afternoon hours. Afternoon highs tomorrow more than 10 degrees hotter than what we should have this time of the year. And again, look for those low clouds, patchy fog, and drizzle early to give way to sunshine shine all across El Paso County and most of the News 5 viewing area. In Colorado Springs, thanks to that front, we cooled down to 74 on Friday. A humid day with rain showers and a thunderstorm possible. Not looking for anything strong in the thunderstorm department, just hopefully some beneficial rain. It has been painfully dry around here most of the month. Windy, that's the main message for Saturday, Sunday into Monday. We really heat up with that downslope wind Sunday and Monday, but some pretty healthy changes by the middle part of next week. By next Wednesday, a high of only 66 degrees and that low Wednesday morning dropping down to 40 degrees. In Pueblo, it's going to stay unseasonably hot. You pick up that wind over the weekend. It's just going to be really hot on Sunday into Monday, close to 90 degrees again. But a big time cool down, that's typical for this time of the year. Tuesday, the first day of October, you'll lose 10 degrees. And then cooler still Wednesday with a high of only 73 degrees. In Canyon City, it's going to be dry tomorrow. A chance of getting a passing PM thunderstorm on Friday. Wind is the message for Saturday, Sunday into Monday. Really hot for this time of the year to wrap up September, Sunday and Monday before you begin to cool nicely as we start October. And for Woodland Park, I've got a passing shower. Maybe a weak thunderstorm in your forecast Friday afternoon. Dry and windy for the weekend into Monday. And then by next Tuesday, with that next system, could see an isolated shower, maybe a rumble of thunder. And then look at that low Wednesday morning for the first time this season, dropping down to freezing. Rob?